Okay guys, it's Pete from MyJewelRevenge.com. Today, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna upgrade the firmware in my Alagoo Mars 3D printer. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed because boy, I'll tell you it's hit or miss what I read on the online, people having good luck or bad luck. Let's get started. Okay, the all along waited time that I've been holding off to do a firmware update. Let's let's get this done. Today is the day. First thing we have to do is flip over our Elegoo Mars. Make sure that you disconnect the power cord and the USB plugs because we have to get to the back side and take a look at this model number here. I'm going to rotate that around and there we go. I have an M03. I have an older one. So I have to go pull up the files and get them out of USB stick. I'm going to show you how to do that now. Okay, so first things first, I hope you guys know how to extract files. You should. If, you're, if you don't, then take a look on the internet. There's a billion ways to teach you how to extract files. Create a folder called the Elegoo Mars Firmware Update, and, or whatever you want to call it. Just remember what it is. In this file, you're going to find a PDF document, and that PDF document is going to explain to us what files our particular version printer is going to need. Now, obviously, for this update, uh, the end of August, there's only one LCD file. And then there's two bin files. And if we look closely here uh, and we read carefully, uh, the first thing it tells us to do is unzip into a folder. And we're going to take two, one bin file and one LCD file. Uh, we're going to put that on a blank USB stick. So here I've up opened up my USB stick and I'm going to drag the uh, update LCD file over to my USB stick. Now this is the little. This is why you had to get the version number of your Elegoo printer. Mine's an 03, but yours might be a, a six, seven, eight, or nine. So take a look at what we have to do here. The uh, so let's get into the meat and potatoes of the bin file here. We're going to determine which one we need. If you have, and, and here you can see uh, an MO six, seven, eight, or nine, you're going to select the B prefix for the bin file. And that is right here. Uh, we just look at that file. We select that one. So if you're, if you have that version, you don't have to double click it and open it up. But if you do, just delete that extra file. And there we go. So if you need that bin file for your version, then copy that onto the USB stick. If you have a th uh, five, four, three, or two, then you're going to grab the A prefix bin file and you're going to drag that onto your memory stick or USB card. And that's pretty much it. In the next stage, we're going to upgrade the printer. So sometimes these things happen automatic, sometimes they don't. Keep the, uh, the this file handy so that you know which one you need. And uh, I'm just going to eject the file from my computer. I'm using a Mac for this and we're going to head on over to the printer. Okay, so now it's time to insert the USB stick with the files, the two files. I only have two files on here, the LCD update file and the bin file. We're going to put that in the back. I'm going to flip the machine around and uh, for my purposes here, I'm just going to focus my camera and get started on this. Okay guys, so you heard those series of beeps. That means that the bin file and LCD file were updated automatically. I didn't realize this, so I'm gonna keep going and you can take a look at what I went through. Okay, sometimes the machine will automatically update the LCD right after you insert the USB. If the printer gives you a message saying it's the same firmware when you print your LCD file, what that means is your printer did it automatically. Yes, that's it. Let's go back and check out the uh, C language information. We're supposed to be uh, 419 or 418 version. Okay, so here's the most important part. After you've done the firmware update and you look and you see that the firmware is actually correct, but the version number at the end is wrong, turn the printer off, wait a few seconds, 
turn it back on and then again check the system in the information tab and voila I am currently upgraded to the latest firmware and it views correctly I hope this video helped guys if it did give it a thumbs up and share it if you know anybody's got one of these printers good luck take care and happy printing Thanks guys for taking the time to watch some of my videos. I really appreciate it. If you like these videos and you find them helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see new stuff that I put out, usually on a weekly basis, hit the subscribe button and you can get notified by clicking on that little bell. I really appreciate any uh, sharing that you can do and the thumbs up that I get if you like these videos kind of helps with uh, my channel to grow. You'll see that in the descriptions and on my website, I do put affiliate links to products that I show and use in these videos. Those affiliate links uh, give me a little small commission, doesn't cost you anything if you buy them. And when you buy within the first 24 hours of clicking on those links, I get a tiny little commission that helps keep this channel going. Any little bit helps to keep this up and running. Again, thanks for taking the time to watch it. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up and share on social media. Take care guys, happy watchmaking and jewelry making.